Shovel on a trade with the Tyrone a while back. He owed me on a deal. It's a little old, 20 years, needs a little work. Ride smooth. I got it for you, bro. to meet someone. Jesse Page. Hey, ma'am. <clears throat> How you doing? Same. This is Shonda Lee Bragg. Hi, Jesse. I'm Shonda Lee Bragg. Tiffany Canyon. 
Is that the same Tiffany Canyon who plays supporting roles in porno flicks? Here we go. Hey, shit stick, it's a big role, okay? The female lead, T, you got it? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's another masterpiece of ass theater classic. What have you done with your life lately, huh, man? You dick. Don't worry about it, baby. Let's just watch the rest of my movie. Oh, take it easy, man. says you were called Lucky Boy in the yard. How come? That's because Jesse always scored the lucky punch. All right. The one that ends in. I don't give a shit where you are. In the ring, the alley, the yard, the street, anywhere, anytime Jesse kick anybody's ass. All right. Hey, Bum. He's never lost a fight. No shit. How long you been outside? Must be nice not being behind walls anymore, bro. Later. Yeah, yeah. Peace and love, man. Get in here. <laughs> My bro. <laughs> the boat. I'm just gonna... 
girls. Punk? Where's my hash pipe? Marlene said you had it last night. I put it back in your room. What did I tell you about using my shit? You weren't using it, man. I'm not gonna say it again. Oh, by the way, the guys are in prison, and which one of you was the bitch? Spanish surprise for you, boy. Your homo buddy is a punk. If you ever fuck with Larry again, I will pull your cover and show you up as the running drag faggot you really are.
a drummer in the house? Seriously. Someone knows our tunes and has the guts to come up here. We'll finish our set. Come on! It's like starring in a fucking Elvis movie. The band needs a hand, and you come up and save the day.
tats given away. Colfax, Nebraska. Colfax? That's a tough hotel. Cake. 
I'm asking you as a friend. I really need your help on this one. Get right to it, huh? It's fine. Lawrence. Hey, my name's Larry, too, bud. <laughs> my name is Lawrence.
Hey, hey, hear this? I ripped us off. Or maybe they weren't pros, but I guarantee they're connected to someone who is. And that someone is gonna be pissed. Pack your fucking tent. Place you two can lay low for a couple days. We could go to my house. I right, then go there, but don't tell anyone. Don't answer the door, don't answer the phone. When you're feeling better, Breeze, you two should get out of town. Hey, Amen. You be safe, right? You too. Bye, Jesse. Shonda. Where do you think you're going? This is a motel, isn't it? Not anymore, it ain't. What's his problem? He's a little sick. Look, can I, can I just use your bathroom? Please? Why not? Come on in. cigarettes but i just love my vices too much i've always managed to have as many as possible you look tired man long night a long night so uh, and so you live here alone you think maybe you ought to go check on your friend? He's looking pretty scuzzy. Thank you. 
know, I know. It's tackier and shit. But it's the best room in the joint. This used to be the bridal suite. I come in here to get horny, man. <laughs> so, what do you think? It's fine. Swell. <laughs> All right, over here. This used to be the bathroom, but it doesn't work so good anymore. In fact, it's better if you don't even go in there at all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it can get pretty woody. When you want to use the bathroom, use the one on the second floor. It's got a swell shower, too. I normally keep the downstairs bathroom for myself. Okay. Well... I hope your friend feels better. Thanks, Hazel. Hey, no sweat, buddy. What it is is what it is. Manana. Oh. You might want to put this under your pillow just to be on the safe side. Sweet dreams.
What's your name? Jesse. I see you washing my bike. It's all right, isn't it? It was it's really dirty. Yeah, it's fine. Are you traveling alone? No. My, my friend's inside How the house. How do you like your room? It's fine. You think so? I don't like it. I think it's cold, you know, not home. Well... But who cares? My husband's place. That still's your husband? <sighs> yeah, sort of. Look, do you mind if I use your phone? It's inside, behind the bar counter. Thought you weren't gonna call. Oh, I, I, I ran into some trouble. What kind of trouble? Not big trouble. No, no. It, it's small trouble. So, are we gonna see you in Detroit or what? Absolutely. Don't bullshit me, Elvis. I want to play in your band. Cool. Well, we're going to LAX now. We'll fly to Motown and then we'll start rehearsing on Tuesday. Tuesday. That's in three days. Is that a problem? No, no. It's, it's no problem. Just tell me where in Detroit you'll be. We'll be setting up at the Magic Circle stage. Now listen, Elvis, you take care of yourself. Because no one else is going to do it for you. Tuesday. something better going on. I'm gonna play jumps for jerk. <laughs> I say something funny? You're ragging on me for being dirty? And you think playing in a rock and roll band is clean? You know how much blow they go through in a fucking day, Jess? No, I don't know. But I do know I love playing drums. And no one's gonna bust me for that. You are in a dream world. No. No, I'm in Detroit in three days. You wish 
Take your time, Jess. There's no more dough. I said there is no paper. All right. I'll give you the rest of the day to get your shit together, but that's it. You can't walk out here with me tonight. I'll leave without you. You want to use the bathroom? No. Weren't you just outside the bathroom door? No. How are you feeling? What do you think? We couldn't do better. I'm a, kind of out of groceries right now, running a little low. Oh, no problem. Uh, I love bagels. Mmm. 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 I just love cream cheese. Don't you? Yeah. Tattoos. I like the one in your belly the best. My belly. When did you see me? Were you watching me brush my teeth? No, but I watched you shower. Look, Hester, I don't know what you're trying to do. He's crazy, you know. Who? Larry? No, Edsel. Edsel's crazy. Suffocates me, won't let me do anything, won't let me go anywhere. Won't let me breathe. Talk to him, you'll see. He's crazy. Thanks for the bagel. It was, um, it was really good. You know, if, if you want to catch Edsel, you can, you can do it right now. He's, uh, surfing. Surfing? Jesse! Woo! 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 Hey! That's all. Man, it's 
can get pretty hairy out here. That one was a bitch. Whew, you all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm all right. Hey, dig it, man. Whew, thrills and spills. Come on over here. Whew. <laughs> that was a hell of a wipeout, wasn't it? Yeah, so what do you think you were doing? I was strengthening my knee. I got it fucked up a while back. I want it to be 100% before I go surfing again. I didn't know you were a surfer. Me? <clears throat> I'm not. I mean, uh, I've always loved to surf and all that, but I'm not some whacked out shit for brain surfer, if that's what you think. No, shit. Hey! Hey! Shit! Fuck! What's wrong? It's happy hour, man. Started over an hour ago. Here, here. All right. Yeah. You're gonna love this, buddy. Okay. Here, pal. Have a margarita. May the good Lord take a liking to you and all that jazz. Yeah, cheers, Bill. Not bad, Edsel. I learned to make margaritas the right way, pal. In East Fort Worth. You know what siesta time really is? It's when you pass out drinking margaritas during happy hour. So, old buddy, if we're gonna follow tradition here, that means we have to drink this entire jug. You dig? I wouldn't want to break any tradition. <laughs> I like the way you think, buddy. I like the way you think. to you, bud. You sure can hold your booze. Learn that from my old man. Where's your old man now? Jackson State, Michigan. Oh, too bad. Sorry. How long is he visiting for? He's walking dead. Oh, shit. Really? Damn. And I think I'd kill myself if I knew I had to be behind walls the rest of my life. Me too. What'd your old man get popped for? About 10 years ago, some cracked that asshole in a cage ran down my mother. Killed her. It took my old man six months, but he tracked down the asshole and snuffed him. I'll call the first degree murder. You get to visit your father much? No. He doesn't see anyone anymore. He just kind of sits around. Bummer. I've been in jail a couple of times, but no prison so far, thank God. How about you? I've been out for a couple months. Man, too. Man, too? Damn, that's heavy. What'd you do, get in a fight or something? Yeah. Over a chick? Over a bike. Oh, shit. Well, damn. That could happen to anybody. What are you doing? 
Hello. I'm sorry, I am. Uh... Well, my husband would let this place fall to earth if I didn't do a patch job once in a while. Uh, so you, uh, don't like it here? How are you feeling? Why don't you leave? Can I, could I fix you something to eat? Maybe you'd like a sandwich or something. Why aren't you answering my questions? It's really none of your business. <laughs> I'm sorry, Hester. I don't mean to spite you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not like it matters. See, Jesse and I, we're leaving. Tonight. Shit, was he crashing on something or what? Uh, he's been jacking himself up with so much shit. Coke, smack, speedballing, zombie THC. His body just gave out. When are you guys gonna split? Tonight. I gotta be in Detroit by Tuesday. Yeah, well. Hey, listen, I got a road atlas you can take with you. Might come in handy. Thanks, that's all. That's all. If you don't mind me asking. Hey, man. Feel free to ask me anything. What do you do for a living? This is my little slice of heaven. It's cheap. It's quiet. And I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. I want to go surfing. I can just skip over to Mexico. I want to gamble, which I'm good at. I go to Vegas. But when I want to just hang out, and I love it. This is the place to be. I got it thick, man. <laughs> I got one more question. Lay it on me, bud. Lay it on me. It's about your wife. <clears throat> My wife? Hester? She is your wife, right? Uh, <clears throat> more or less. Right, right. Why, what about her? <clears throat> you like her? Well, I didn't say that. She is stunning, isn't she? Like, <clears throat> hey man, you want her? Take her with you when you leave. I got no problem with that. It's okie doke, believe me. Nope.
I don't know why I do this. What's that? I'll stare at the sunsets and the sunrises. Well, most of all, I... Oh, I... I don't know why I look at the stars. It's beautiful to look at. I'd like to go out there. How about you? I've thought about it many times. Oh, you just saying that. No, I'm not. When I was a little kid, I used to dream about riding my old man's Harley up there around the rings of Saturn, you know? Around and around. I always thought it'd be the biggest highway in the universe. Really? I wouldn't lie to you. Sometimes I want to reach out like a 
shot in the dark. But I'm not sure what I'm reaching for. You know, I, I might grab hold of the wrong thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, whoa, hey. God. Your, your, your husband's in the house. Oh, he's drunk. Well, he's passed out, but I don't think it really matters. Edsel doesn't care what we do. Well, well, maybe he doesn't care what we do, but you still matter. Ma <laughs> Shonda, you gotta do me a huge favor that this is important. Breeze, I'm sick. I feel like shit, man. Like, my insides are twisting around like a fucking snake. I, I need some dope, man. I need some dope now. Did you fucking hear me, man? I fucking heard you, Larry. Just why don't we just why don't we wait a half hour? You know, I just I know for sure I can handle the ride in how it's a half hour. I've got two thousand miles to cover in three days. You 
You know, bro, I had hoped everything between us would have been like it was before. Maybe I'm dreaming. That's the way I thought it was going to be. Like when we were sellers. Together. That was not a life, Larry. What's she doing here? I'm going along as well. <sighs> oh, really? Well, uh, Jess, we can't ride three on a bike. I've seen my old man do it. Okay. I'm going. If either of you wants to come along, fine. Esther. I could imagine what you did to him to let you take you along. Nothing you haven't already done. Hey, man! Had me a nice little snooze. I went fucking starving. Well, are you about ready to hit it? Yeah. Uh, thanks for letting us crib here. Hey, don't sweat any time. Any time, Jesse. You're always welcome. Uh, it's so... Esther says she'd, uh, like to come along. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try my luck elsewhere, uh, Edsel. Gee! Well, hey, I understand. Good luck to you, Esther. Put her there for it. Well, be safe, Jesse. Watch out for the CHP if you're speeding, pal. They're sneaky little bastards, especially at night. Okay, Edsel. I don't understand. Hey, man. <clears throat> don't ever try to understand women, pal. It's a feeling of never. It just fry your brain. <clears throat> we should be going. That's all. A... I'm not going. What? Sorry, bro. Uh... You say this? I just decided not. Just a moment. I got a life in LA. You're making a big mistake. Especially after last night. Things will blow over. I know what I'm talking about. Well, might as well take a load off, Mary. I think we got a few minutes to kill. Well, now we don't have to worry about traveling three on the bike. I'll be right back. You catching a bus or something? You keep looking out the window. Really 
going to hand it to you, Hester. You sure did a crackerjack job finding it this time. And I thought putting it under the tiles was my best place yet. I'm not fucking kidding! Drop the bottle, Hester. Please. Pretty please. You see, I told you he'd try to kill me if I tried to leave. If you told Jesse that, then you told him a load of bullshit. The truth is, she can leave any time she wants. That was always the deal, and she knows that. I won't do a thing. Just as long as she leaves this. You see, nine months ago, I met my lovely wife working in a topless bar in Vegas. She was a dancer, a lovely dancer, among other things. We started kind of dating, and after a while, I didn't have to pay for it. That's when I thought we were getting serious. Well, it just so happens the scumbag owner of the bar was also her pimp and a bookie. One day, I placed a big bet on a horse that no one but me thought would win. The odds were incredible. Enormous, 15 to 1. Well, I guessed right. The horse won the race, and I won my bet. The only trouble was the scumbag bookie tells me he doesn't have the bread. So we got into a little altercation, and he beat on my leg with a baseball bat. That, that's what fucked up my knee. But I kicked his ass anyway, and his belcher's ass to it. I helped myself to his safe, and I told him, and I meant it. And he knew I meant it. Then, just when I was about to leave, Hester comes and begs me to take her along with me. She's real itchy to get away from where she is. Says she's suffocating. Trapped, I think she said. She said if she didn't get out of Vegas soon, she was going to rip her flesh right off her body. Well, I thought that would be a shame. <laughs> I thought I could help her. So I married her. Yes, I loved her. Then I brought her here to my lovely home. Well, let me tell you, good buddy, you talk about a radical change of attitude. The little woman there went from being the sexiest woman on earth to this hell bat within a week. Ever since then, I've tried every way in the world to get her to leave. I bribed her. I even pushed her out the door. But she keeps coming back just like a little pup. I keep hiding the money, and she keeps finding it. Finally, I told her. The next time she tries to steal it, I'd kill her. Yeah, maybe I should have just killed you. Well, I think you would have if you had the guts. Damn it, Ansel! I didn't have that fucking money more than you did. I'm the one that had to work for that pig. I had to take his fucking shit every day. Oh, you just got lucky on a fucking horse race. I made a bet, yes, sir! The money's mine! She doesn't get it. She doesn't get it. It was a bet! If you two rush him... Forget it, Hester. What that? Edsel, I can show you where to triple that money, man. Hey, shut up, Larry! Edsel, I just want to go to Detroit. Hey, man, I can dig it. Here. You know, uh, take this with you, pal. You'll need it. Thanks, Edsel. I'll pay you back somehow. Hey, no sweat. Don't worry. Take good care of yourself, Jesse. You too, Edsel. Hey, man. Don't forget your road, Atlas. Right. What's your name? Larry. And you? I'm Mo. 
this is Curly. Larry Story. Yeah. You know who we are? No. I'm Freddy. This is Jason. Leland Bolas was my younger brother. And Lawrence Wong was mine. Now we'll both admit our younger brothers were a couple of yuppie jerk-offs, but they really wanted to change their image. Which is why they told us about the deal they were setting up with you. They wanted to impress us. But now they're dead. Because of you. You know, it wasn't hard tracking you down, Larry. We beat on the bartender at the Skull. He told us where your house is, and we snuffed him after that. T-Bone talked like crazy. The dipshit wouldn't shut up. He told us everything. Where to find Breeze and Shonda? Oh, just so you know, Breeze, Shonda, they wouldn't say a thing. In fact, if you hadn't called them, we probably wouldn't have been able to find you. But it doesn't matter now anyway, because Breeze, Shonda, T-Bone, Marlene, Bulldog, they're all dead. Jesse Page was the one and the only one who did all the killings. If it wasn't for him, our brothers would still be alive. That's true, isn't it, Larry? Because Jesse Page did all the killings, right? It wasn't you. It was Jesse, wasn't it? Definitely. Now! Yes. Fuck that! Fuck you! You no rat! No! 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 Did Jesse leave? Or is he still around here somewhere? Is he in the hotel? Oh, Larry. I forgot. This is from Breeze. Coke. Just smash. You can make a spoon ball out of this. Of course, that's a lot more than you need for one hit, but we figured what the hell. Why not grab all of Breeze's stash? You get all this. And you get to live. If you tell us where Jesse is. Come on, Mary. Come on. Tell us. Tell us.
so. You saved my life, man. Think about it, Hester. You just stay fucking put. You gave me up. I heard you. After I leave, you might want to split it up between you two. But one of you could get greedy. And take it all. <laughs> 